I mean, I always thought that having PCOS was hard, but it was the hardest when I started to like want to have a baby because I was so uncertain whether or not, you know, it was going to happen. Oh yeah, I've had friends who, um... And, not to cut you off, but my PCOS symptoms did get worse after my pregnancy. Like, everything was like times 10. It's gotten better now, but it's still not like it used to be. It definitely sounds like it was very hard for you. I don't know how you did it. No, it wasn't easy. I was dealing with a lifetime of that. And then, obviously, I told you when I got into my pregnancy, all the other things happened. On top of my baby's father, who, well, isn't the baby's father, but... You know what I mean. Um, there was that drama too, so it was a shit show. Well, I, I think they say it's darkest before the dawn, right? So I know you already have two kids, but when you get out of here, do you want more kids? Because, you know, I, I do think about that sometimes. I do want a third child. I do want one bad, but I'm... I'm over 35 now, and I don't know how easy that's going to be anymore. Yeah, I'm almost going to be 35 too soon. I worry about that. But I have heard things that work, that, that do help you conceive after you're 35. Oh, really? I've heard a few things, but... What, uh... Well, take a guess, because I, I would have never thought this. Uh... Pineapple? I've, I've heard people say pineapple helps. Mucinex. It helps with like the cervical mucus and all that. And I've heard a lot of women, okay, I can admit it. Um, before I got pregnant, I did take a lot of Mucinex, just like once a day. Um, and then I also, because it was like a habit, I guess, and it helped me sleep, I did take it during my pregnancy too. But I don't recommend that, but I do recommend doing it to get pregnant. It definitely works. Oh, sounds a little dangerous, but I think I'll, if I want to do that, I think I'll try it. If I'm having trouble, maybe. Not during my pregnancy, but... Hey, Cartwright, can I speak to you for a moment? Yeah. What's up? I have good news for you. I know it's out of the blue, but um, you're being released. Oh, oh my God, are you serious? It's because I've... Yeah, I know what you're going to say, and it's, it's not because of your behavior. Um, you did show some improvements. I, I have been blown away by that, but um, there's been some problems with this facility. Uh, some people deem it unconstitutional, and um, we're being shut down pretty much. And uh, we're, we're releasing people in waves. You're one of the first waves, so we're releasing you. Oh my god, that's great. You know, I heard my mother-in-law was in the hospital, and that's why she wasn't returning my calls. Um, I think I'm gonna go visit her after I leave. I, I can't believe I'm leaving. I wish you all the best, and it was, um, it was a pleasure getting to know you. <laughs> oh, and Beretta, it was a pleasure talking to you in here and being your friend. You made time go by so quick for me. Uh, and remember, third child, Mucinex, okay? Uh, severe cold and flu. It was nice meeting you and talking to you. I'm glad you were my friend. Thank you.